men participate in contraception already. They do it through natural methods or interrupted intercourse, through the use of condoms, and at the end of their reproductive life with vasectomy. Australia has one of the highest vasectomy rates in the world. Over 30% of our men over the age of 40 have had a vasectomy. Vasectomy is a minor surgical procedure where a small segment of the vas is removed from both sides and this interrupts the ability of sperm to go from the testicle out into the semen. Now, it's important to remember that semen is 95% coming from other things than the testicle. It comes from the prostate and the seminal vesicles at the base of the bladder. So after a vasectomy, men don't notice a decline in semen volume because it's still coming from those other glands upstream. Of course, there are no sperm in it anymore. Vasectomy is a very effective form of contraception. The failure rate is very, very low. But it's important to remember it should be regarded as irreversible. Vasectomy reversal surgery is difficult and expensive. Some men, when faced with the prospect of vasectomy, elect to store sperm before having the operation, just in case they change their mind later on. The success of vasectomy reversal surgery depends on the type of vasectomy that's been performed and how long ago it was performed. The longer ago in the past, the poorer the outcome. One large study in the United States showed that seven years after vasectomy, the pregnancy rate from surgery reversal over a two to three year period was about 50%. After a vasectomy, when the sperm are reabsorbed by the body every day, there can be the generation of antibodies against sperm. So for example, after vasectomy reversal surgery, one might get a, a relatively poor number of sperm coming through and or the sperm could be coated with antibodies. And in those men, natural fertility is not very likely. In other words, the antibodies block the effectiveness of the vasectomy reversal by handicapping the sperm. These sperm, however, still work perfectly well through microinjection IVF. For men in whom vasectomy reversal surgery is not warranted or likely to be successful, IVF represents a very effective treatment. What one does there is under local anaesthetic, use a fine needle to pull out a few sperm and use those for single sperm microinjection and that is performed very frequently in Australia now for vasectomy related infertility. So the decision about vasectomy reversal surgery versus IVF has to be made by the couple taking into account their age, their other medical factors and their desire for one or more children. So it has to be a tailor-made discussion with the couple.